Hey guys, so we do have here the Moto G in the house, the OG Moto G 2013 and I've just put on Android 5.1.1 on it and I wanted to see how it ran on the device which is a, a legendary device when it comes to lowering the price of handsets uh, and very uh, inspirational to other companies to make very nice uh, kind of cheap devices so uh, you can see here we do have Android 5.1 editions such as the uh, very nice ability to connect to different Wi-Fi's quite quick uh, you'll also be getting obviously the bug fixes that uh, 5.1 had like there's quite a few bugs on Android 5.1 uh, and uh, you'll notice that the speed of the ROM here is much faster and uh, everything just uh, opens up very quickly which is what you need I've been testing out some of the stuff here on the ROM such as the uh, camera which uh, you can see here so we do have a 5 megapixel on this one so you're not going to get the best pictures ever but it's nice to see that it is working nevertheless it'd help if I was on the camera so you can see here you get your 720p working which is quite nice So I think uh, the camera seems to be relatively stable here. Uh, we do also have the multi-user support as well, which seems to be working. As you can see. Let's go back to me. Uh, the ROM is actually quite clean here. You won't actually notice too much is actually on the device like with some other ROMs because it is an AOSP ROM. So those of you who don't like clutter on your device will definitely enjoy this. Uh, we can see here the Android version. And we do have the uh, game here. We also have the uh, confirmation of who built it. So, the, as I said, the settings are quite sparse though. I think that uh, it's very close to what you'll find on a Nexus device here. There's no performance settings or anything like that. I don't think there's even a pro profile setting. So, I think the priority here then is definitely speed and fluidity. And it's still a very fast device, this one. I'd say it's even faster than a 2015. Moto G, uh, maybe because of the smaller screen, obviously, doesn't take too much, doesn't tax it too much. We do also have a browser here, which is not the Chrome one. I think it's the old Android browser, which was quite quick back in the day. And uh, we can just check the uh, benchmark here after just having a look at something else. I'm jumping ahead of myself. So we got the radio here, FM radio. We also got the clock here. It's quite nice. You can also get rid of everything quite quick, which is useful. Uh, and uh, as I said, we can just have a look at the Antutu here. I will speed up the video. Just see if we can get any gains in terms of the performance. So we're finished here and uh, we can see the uh, little Moto G is coming behind the Asus Zenfone 5 but then again it does look like it gets slightly higher in terms of the score than on the official Lollipop 5.0.2 ROM which I think is the latest ROM uh, for this device right now so I think that gets 18,200 odd but uh, don't quote me on that I just looked at it on a another uh, YouTube video so it does look like you get a slight little boost here in the speed 
but it's not going to be a huge amount obviously however I still think the device is very uh, nippy and uh, it would for those of you who already have a main device you know it would be very uh, useful as a backup device even if you use this as your main device I think that uh, you'd be well suited to looking at some of the 5.1.1 builds available for it now it could uh, give you a little bit more performance so uh, yeah just a quick little video here checking this out I hope you did enjoy and if you did please leave a like and I will see you next time cheers